This is my Christmas special where I'm gonna be showing you how I designed my Christmas tree this year. You see a lot of designs for big, fluffy, green Christmas trees, but what you don't see is a condo-sized Christmas tree. So that's what we're doing today. We have a great view of downtown, so the Christmas tree that I got is the one from Restoration Hardware. It's super light, it's not very full, so it doesn't obstruct the view. The design that I came up with is sort of a metallic design that plays off of the nighttime skyline. This tree has a metal base on the bottom which I wanted to cover up and I found some fake snow from Walmart that I just placed around the bottom and I fluffed it to give it some added texture. The first thing to do if you have a skinny tree like mine is add texture and depth. I did this by adding in some sparkly branches that I found from West Elm. I also found what looks like baby's breath covered in sparkles that I added in conjunction with the branches just to add more fullness and a bit more glitz. These diamond ornaments are just from Ikea. They're super funky and they're really affordable. I decided not to use all of the colors that it came with. There was a pink one and a blue one that came in the package that I just thought would look a bit too juvenile on the tree. The next ornament, I'm gonna call a starburst ornament. I also found from West Elm. I just thought it was so cool and kind of trendy. I've seen light fixtures that look like this. I just thought it would add a lot of texture to the tree. I love the shape of this next ornament from Walmart. It's almost like an upside down teardrop and the metallic finish really bounces the light and lights up the tree gorgeously. This next ornament, I'm just gonna call the beaded ornament because it's covered in beads. I couldn't resist picking these up. They're just beautiful, and I thought they'd be a nice addition to the tree. The next ornament I have are these copper balls. Copper is really big right now. I love copper. I just had to throw candy canes in there. I've been putting candy canes on my Christmas tree since I was a little kid, and I just could not do it, you know? To switch it up and just make it a bit more fun, I taped them at the bottom and the top and made them into hearts. The next DIY ornament are these word ornaments. I think they're great because they just reflect what's going on around Christmas time. Peace, love, family. They add a lot of sentiment to the tree. These are made just from wire I found at Home Depot. I'm gonna admit it was a little tricky getting them rounded out around the letters, but I think it turned out pretty nice. It's important not to forget about what's going on below the tree, besides presents. This nutcracker fits the bill for me. He's really fun and guards the presents. Lastly, the star of the show. What's a tree without a topper? This one's great. It's from Walmart and it fit on my tree perfectly. And this is the part of the episode where we cue the epic montage. That's it, I hope you found something useful for your Christmas decorating. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, it really helps me out. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Instagram at Ashley Freeman Design. And if you're interested in any of the ornaments that I used, I'll have a list of where I got all of them on my website, which will be listed below. Merry Christmas.